Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sailor Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as Great Britain. It's now May of 1962. We have just gotten out of this very unpleasant war with Germany and Japan, which, to be fair, objectively went pretty well. We pretty much... I mean, we did a lot of damage to the German fleet, although apparently they still have more tonnage than us. But we did a lot of damage to them, and we managed to peace out just in time to prevent Japan from grabbing any of our territories, so we're in kind of an okay position. That said, let's see. We lost a couple of Canadas, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember how many I had to have, probably at least 14 or something. So, basically, our foreign station situation is terrible. We also lost a lot of heavy cruisers, and we only have six in service now. Which is just appalling. Um, we're going to have to send all these to foreign stations. Like, half of the Yarmouths. How many of you are leaving for the Mediterranean right now? Put a couple of the older suffix on foreign stations as well. Oh my god, they're terrible at it. Maybe let me keep some actual fighting ships home, though. Okay, yeah, we gotta balance the budget, and we gotta figure out foreign stations. Now, we're building some destroyers. Whoop, sorry. The fleet is not in great shape. Although we did win the war... We are at, like, half the number of CAs I would want. We are way under the number of destroyers I want, which is probably a hundred. And, frankly, our colonial cruiser force is beaten all to hell. Now, we have a new design for that, the Pelerus class, that just hasn't been built at all. We have a new carrier design that really needs to get built. Do we have the money for any of this? The answer is no. I'm going to start transferring as much stuff to reserve as I can get away with, because... We are in big, big trouble if we can't figure something out here. I'm going to mothball practically our entire destroyer fleet, for one thing. That did help. That helped a lot. Oh, uh, land bases to mothball them. That will help a lot, too. Anti-missile tactics, reduced missile hit chances on ships, that's good. Enemy aircraft losses, still almost entirely due to fighters. Uh, all of you do not actually go into reserve. Oh, God. God, I can't. Okay, alright, yep, okay. The difference here is not really the petty amount I'm saving by uh, not the petty amount I'm saving on maintenance here, it's the large amount I'm saving on aircraft. Can I just scrap all these? These are doing nothing, surely. Um, okay, did we finish some Gurkhas there? Yes, okay, the first three Gurkha-class destroyers are finally commissioned. These are 3,800 tonners. They have all the latest in radar, anti-submarine, 8-5-inch uh, dual-purpose guns, radar AA, 6 heavy SSM launchers, 5 torpedo tubes. Do they have reloads? Apparently they're marginally worse at ASW than the Legions. I don't know why. Oh, they don't have total race sonar. Maybe that's why. Do the Legions have total race sonar? 
No. And this alleged ASW value is higher. Maybe it's just because they haven't worked up yet, actually. That might be the civil answer. But they do have one reload each for those SSMs as well. So that's in advance, because the legions do not know. Now the problem is... I really want a hundred destroyers in surface. And we can't even come close to affording that at the moment. I'm gonna probably settle for 80. So, wow, those are expensive to build. But we need so many. I mean, wholesale replacement is basically a requirement. And besides that, we have to build a lot of Pellerin. Like, the Amazons have to go. They really, really do. And there's over 50 of them in the fleet still. Then we need new heavy cruisers, probably ones with SAMs. We need new Canadas. The wholesale replacement is probably not on the cards, but we at least need to build a couple of Pelaris class. It's going to be a budget struggle for a little while here. Oh, God. Damn it, I'm spending every penny I've got. Dockyards. Internal upheaval in Albania. My God, how many times have I stopped this? Oh, and they finally did it. Okay, well. Oh, our new jet attack aircraft is ready. That is nice. Um... Now the other thing is, our heavy jet is now almost 10 years old, so we're going to need to replace that. Let me get proposals for a heavy jet, which will prioritize, um... Speed and firepower, I think. We need to stay at peace. Like, it's really not optional. Um, the Navy is so battered. I don't know if we'll even fight another war before the end of the game. Objectively, it would probably be better not to, but for entertainment purposes, we might. Okay. Let's get this batch of Gurkhas finished. I am, I think, going to settle for 80 destroyers for now. It's not at all good. That puts us below, like, Spain and Austria. On the other hand, you'll notice R84 is significant. Oh, no, wait, that's going to be R97, but it's going to be a big ton of damage nonetheless. Uh, but the Amazons, they just have to go. Like, they're too old. I'm going to start scrapping them. By Saracen, Maori, Viking, Zulu. Hold on, let me check. Second. Okay. I just wanted to name one of the new ships, uh, Beagle, let's say. Do this. I name him after Raz, his regular commentator lately. Thanks for watching, man. Um, okay. And now, yeah, we need to finish the rest of these Gurkhas. And then I think we have to. Are we doing carrier-wise? We have ten, but two of them, these Courageouses, are literally garbage. They're so obsolete. Why do I keep doing this later? Oh boy, thanks Parliament. Less budget. Oh, I forgot there's a rebellion in Guam. That 
it's uh oh. wait Guam oh that's a Spanish rebellion um I thought one of my territories was rebelling though actually there should probably be an easy way to check this <laughs> Maybe not. I kind of thought someplace was rebelling, now that I think about it, after the uh, blockade we had, but it's not exactly shown clearly on the map. Um, I'm just going to assume it's not anywhere important. Or that by having adequate foreign stations we'll handle it. Ah, it's Hainan. Hmm. Well, basically everything is in reserve now, but I will send these two heavy cruisers to Southeast Asia. That's what that force of heavy cruisers that I stopped moving was doing. <laughs> I've just totally forgotten about it. Okay, Jackal is commissioned. We'll decommission Oxhound. We'll build four more this turn. Oh. Stolen better two inch guns. Don't feel like we're likely to use them, but we have them. Now uh, that puts us at 86 destroyers in service. I'm going to scrap six more Amazons. See Pito, Scorpion, Nautilus, Pincher, Renard, and Wolverine. Bye. What is my top priority now? We need new heavy cruisers. I think the top priority is to build Blight. How many counters do I have? Well, how many other ships do I have on foreign stations? So many. I need to build like four plus. Um, the armaments do I have right now? Eleven. Yeah. Um, I need another Yarmouth then too, or a new class light cruiser even. Let's say Yarmouth's probably still fine. For simplicity's sake. I, yes please, but not to the point of starting a war, but yes please. Tactical data system for ASW, better aerial ASW. Miniaturized onboard electronics, medium SSMs, and better missile hit rates. And we've lost hang on. You know, we'll survive, but it is bad. Uh, where are those heavy crews? Oh, you made it to Southeast Asia. Oh, back to Northern Europe. That's our loss from the war is Hainan. I guess we'll survive without it, since we own practically all the rest of Southeast Asia. It would probably be better from an objective point of view if we did just uh, decolonize, but... In game, I'm not going to let that happen. Now, uh, let's see. Ooh. Doing third carrier division. Yeah. Okay. Now we have money. Unfortunately, I can't even really use it to lay down actual frontline units. I need to lay down at least four of these. I would say straight away. And then we really need a heavy cruiser. But we also really need to replace courageous. And we really need to destroy like the situation is not great, to be honest. I'm going to lay down one Gibraltar class carrier, and hopefully we can just be building a carrier at pretty much all times. 
and four Pelorises, and that's pretty much the budget for the next two years just wrapped up right there. If we get any spare cash, I'm basically going to use it to build more destroyers, I think. Once the colonial cruiser situation is fixed, I can start building a new generation of heavy cruisers that are equipped with SAMs. New Russian helicopter. Guam, still in rebellion. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to speed through some time here unless something changes, because budget is tied up. <laughs> rebellion in Guam. Struggling with missile submarines. Flying on till. Oh, did we finish? Um, are we. How many destroyers? Oh, we're at 86 in service again. Okay, my bad. I will decommission. Oh, private LSD. Rattlesnake, Raccoon, Savage, Scourge, and Frisk. We still have. Uh, 35 Amazons, but that's slightly less than half the fleet now with destroyers, so... Progress. We should really replace the Call 6 too, but that's not such a big deal since there's only five of them. And we could have actually a fleet with all SS SSMs. Which it's 63, that's kind of overdue really. Although, probably IRL it wasn't. Oh boy. Oh, come on now. I literally have a carrier and four cruisers under construction. What else am I supposed to be building? We absolutely do not have the budget to do anything else. Um, Monopropellant torpedo fuel, better torpedo speed, solid state guidance systems, better missile hit rate. Okay, both excellent. Not that disastrous, but... I mean, it's not like you can afford to build anything bigger anyway. Realistically, these are going to be the biggest ships we ever construct, and we'll be lucky if we actually finish two of them by the end date. Okay, new heavy jet prototypes. Wow, that is a big increase in speed. Okay. Yeah, this was overdue. Alright, they have basically the same top speed. The Bristol has a grossly... Reduced range, so we're not going to go with that one. Uh, Blackburn and Supermarine, same firepower, same maneuverability. Uh, Supermarine is slightly tougher. Same bomb load, missiles, etc. Um, exactly the same speed and range, so these are literally identical, except the Supermarine is slightly tougher, so there is no reason to go with the Blackburn. Bristol is out because of its range deficiency. And maneuverability and toughness, really. Just because it has 13 extra knots is not enough. Uh, so we're going to take the supermarine design to replace our existing supermarine. Uh-oh. Headed for a monopoly here, folks. Russians have built a new torpedo bomber. That is weird in 63, but okay. Uh, Guam has achieved independence from Spain. I don't really know if that matters much, but... Still have the Northern Marianas and the Carolinas, so. Alright, let's keep time ticking by. The budget is still slightly negative, so we can't build anything else. New Spanish light cruiser, that's a lot of SSMs. Very modern, very modern. 37 knots. That's fast. Damn it, Parliament. Uh, I'm going to allow it because we need the budget. Why did our... Oh, right, because Parliament. I guess the arms deal was not enough to counteract Parliament. I was building a submarine? Huh. I guess I, I guess I lost one in the war and I had ordered a replacement. Why are three of my submarines named Oxley? Whatever. It's to confuse the enemy, probably. 
Okay, we're going to have to pause the carrier for a turn, thanks to Parliament's little budget cut. And they cut the budget more. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Okay, surely Midway would be the last place we would give independence, right? Like, it has... I'm going to Google this before I say something stupid, but... To the best of my knowledge, Midway has no native inhabitants. It's a very small atoll. No. No, it has no native inhabitants. Just... U.S. Fish and Wildlife. <laughs> So why on earth would we give it independence? It's a perfect naval base candidate. No, I'm keeping it because... Come on, minister. Uh... Oh, God. Enter VW Tactics, better ECM and jamming. We seem to be suffering a bit of a decolonization crisis, folks. The budget has just... Collapsed, and uh, where we could build all five of these a minute ago, now we can build two of the smaller ones. But at least I kept Midway. The only reason I wanted to keep it is because it is our only base in the Central Pacific, although I've built it up so little that it's kind of useless really anyway, but it's better than nothing. Although another confrontation with the U.S. would be basically suicide anyway, so... Disarmament conference in the hog. Honestly? I could definitely accept it right now. Aww. I think a disarmament con a treaty at this moment would have been significantly to our advantage, probably, but. <laughs> And now the budget is so unbelievably terrible that even with nothing under construction and pretty much the whole fleet in reserve, I mean, legitimately, like, almost the whole fleet is mothballed or in reserve. This is ridiculous. We still... Like, this is ludicrous. What's actually active in the fleet right now are five new carriers and, like, less than a dozen light cruisers. Twenty destroyers, maybe? And, uh, and then everything that's on foreign stations, which is so much of the fleet. This Imperial overstretch business is really, uh, really kind of getting to us at this point. Oh my. Well, I wonder what they're serving for dinner at the flag officer's mess. Better missile submarines, long-range air-to-air missiles, half forces enemy aircraft to launch anti ship missiles with lower hit rates, that is nice. Uh... Yeah, sure, okay. I don't really use helicopters that much, but... Let's say, uh... I think those are the most critical things, because I think they kind of suck still. Getting better, but... We're just about to hit the classic Vietnam era of helicopters. We're not quite there yet. What's the actual release year for, like, the... UV? Full silencing, better ASW capabilities... Oh, 56, and oh, that's earlier than I thought. Okay. Guess our helicopters are vaguely decent. Recognizable. Um. Well, budget's still broken. I, I feel like there was something here. Was there something? Not really. Uh, alright, well. I don't even, I mean, 
Our prestige has dropped by an enormous amount. Wow. I'm pretty sure it was a 20 higher than that or something, like a couple turns ago. Uh, we're constructing effectively nothing. Pretty sure we're going to basically stagger over the finish line here. I don't know how else to put it. Um, yeah, I'll back our ally. We have to accept some raises in tension. Because the budget is so awful. I could get enough colonial ships functioning. Son of a bitch, Parliament. Oh my god. This is your fault. Uh, airborne early warning aircraft. Better radar range and cap engagement range with special squadrons on board. Supermarine Spiteful is ready. And the budget is now... I, um... Okay, I really didn't want to do this, but I'm putting the carriers in reserve because we're just absolutely screwed without them. The problem is that will drastically reduce the uh, operational skill of our most important frontline units, but I need the budget, please. Uh, but we're going to have to suffer it because otherwise we are basically bankrupt. Still can't resume the carrier construction. Not even close. It was stable for like a year, but now it's absolutely not happening. Parliament. Fuck you, minister. You can't just reduce the budget and then immediately be mad at me for overspending the budget when I've had no opportunity to... Oh my god, okay, I'm right to be mad, too. Our budget is now on par with, like, Spain's. What the hell, Parliament? Come on! How am I supposed to compete? Our budget is lower than France's. Much lower than Germany's. It's not even funny how much lower than the USA or Japan's it is. The only ones we're spending more than are Russia, Spain, and Austria, Hungary. I don't know why Russia's is so low. They, I mean, kind of beat up on them earlier in the game, I guess, but still. If that was enough to stop countries from getting budget, Germany would be bankrupt right now. We're just going to have to take another prestige hit, which is just... But I can't really put anything else in reserve. Brackle. Okay. Well, the budget is positive now. I'm going to have to go another month of not building anything, or just to try to have a little bit of margin against another budget cut. Improved launchers, reduced missile mount reload time, quadruple launchers for light SAMs, that's nice. There's significant new advances we should probably be putting into our ships, but we just very clearly cannot afford it. Damn. I was really kind of hoping for a treaty on one of those. Hey, Jofu, how's it going? New helicopters. Let's see. You know, they're actually only... Barely improved. Let's see, you know, better range. Why did none of them have any firepower? Whatever. Uh, let's see here. They all have, well, that one's slower. Let's see, these are the fastest. This one is the second longest range. I think we'll probably the Bristol design here. 
equal fastest, so well, basically equal second longest ranged, second firepower, equal best toughness. Oh, good, good. Want an improved version of the spiteful right away. Faster, longer ranged, rather marginally, but better than nothing. Who are you playing as? Budget. Guys, come on. Come on. Uh, Parliament despises me. I don't have any other way to put it. We have... What is still active in the fleet right now? One heavy cru two heavy cruisers, and 20 destroyers. Two heavy cruisers and 20 destroyers, plus everything that's on foreign stations, which is the minimum necessary. And we are losing money. And we're not even actually building anything. Guys. Fuck you, Parliament. Thanks for watching, sailors. Hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Genda, signing off.